Hello everyone, welcome back to Alternate Route. Today we have an interesting topic to discuss, road signs in Canada. Whether you're preparing for your road test or planning to visit, understanding these signs is crucial for a successful drive. So let's dive right in. From coast to coast, Canada uses a diverse range of road signs to communicate important information to drivers. Let's start with the basics, regulatory road signs. In Canada, regulatory road signs play a crucial role in informing drivers about specific rules and regulations they must follow. Here is a list of some common regulatory road signs you may encounter on Canadian roads. Stop sign. This is a red octagon with white letters, stop. What does it mean? Indicates that drivers must come to a complete stop before proceeding. For road test takers, make sure you wait at least three seconds before proceeding after you stop. Yield sign, red and white upside down triangle with the word yield, meaning informs drivers to yield the right of way and proceed with caution. If you're preparing for your road test, take note that stopping at a yield sign when there is no traffic to yield for could be judged as hesitation. Do not enter sign. Red circle with a white horizontal bar and the words do not enter, meaning this indicates that entry is prohibited. One way sign, white arrow on a green background, pointing in one direction with the words one way, meaning indicates traffic is allowed only in the direction of the arrow. No U-turn sign, red circle with a white horizontal bar and the words no U-turn, meaning prohibits making a U-turn at the specified location. Speed limit signs, White rectangular sign with black numbers indicating the maximum speed limit, meaning informs drivers of the maximum speed allowed on that particular road, meaning prohibits making a right turn at the specified location. No left turn sign, red circle with a white horizontal bar and the words no left turn, meaning prohibits making a left turn at the specified location. No parking sign, red rectangle with white lettering indicating specific parking restrictions, meaning informs drivers that parking is not allowed in the designated area. Reserved parking sign. Blue sign with white lettering indicating parking spaces reserved for specific users, e.g. handicapped parking. It's important to note that specific regions or provinces in Canada may have variations in the design or wording of these signs. Always pay attention to local regulations and variations in road signage. Let us now look at warning road signs. In Canada, warning road signs are designed to alert drivers to potential hazards or conditions ahead allowing them to adjust their driving behavior accordingly. Here's a list of common warning road signs you may encounter on Canadian roads. Curve ahead sign. Yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black arrow indicating a curve, meaning warns drivers of an upcoming curve in the road. Winding road sign. Yellow diamond-shaped sign with black squiggly lines indicating a winding or serpentine road, meaning alerts drivers to a road with a series of curves. Steep hill sign. Yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black downward arrow, meaning warns drivers of a steep downhill slope. If you're parking uphill or downhill, remember to turn your steering to the appropriate direction. My video for the Calgary road test explained this. Check the description for the link to the video. Hill sign. Yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black upward arrow, meaning indicates an upcoming hill or incline. Pedestrian crossing sign. Diamond-shaped sign with a black pedestrian symbol, meaning indicates an upcoming pedestrian crossing. Railway crossing sign, yellow circle-shaped sign with a black railway symbol, meaning indicates an upcoming railway crossing. Remember to slow down and look both sides before driving through a railway crossing. Deer crossing sign, yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black deer symbol, meaning warns drivers to watch out for deer or wildlife crossing the road. School zone sign, yellow diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating a school zone, meaning indicates an upcoming school zone, requiring drivers to slow down. If you are preparing for your road test, it is crucial that you take note of this sign. Overspeeding during your road test is automatic failure. Construction zone. Sign, orange diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating construction, meaning warns drivers of an upcoming construction zone, requiring caution and reduced speed. Take note of speed limits in construction zones, mostly 60 km char. The fines are usually times three if you violate the speed limits at construction zones. Slippery when wet sign. Yellow diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating slippery conditions, meaning warns drivers of the potential for slippery roads when wet. Moose crossing sign. Host. Here's a unique one. The moose crossing sign. In certain areas, especially up north, these signs warn drivers to be cautious as moose are known to wander onto the road. Falling rock sign. Host. Another interesting sign is the falling rock sign. In mountainous regions, this warns drivers about the possibility of rocks falling onto the road. 
These warning signs are crucial for promoting road safety by giving drivers advance notice of potential hazards. Always be attentive to these signs and adjust your driving accordingly. Note that variations may exist based on local regulations and specific road conditions in different provinces or territories in Canada. Guide road signs are another type. Guide road signs in Canada provide information about destinations, distances, and directions, helping drivers navigate and plan their routes. A couple of weeks ago, one of such signs probably saved my life. My vehicle was low on gas. I was about entering an exit road when I saw a sign that said, Check your gas. Next services are 88 came in away. Without this sign, I would have entered that road without filling up my gas tank. And I would have ran out of gas before the next gas station. I can only imagine what would have happened in that situation. Here's a list of common guide road signs you may encounter on Canadian roads. Route marker sign. Various shapes and colors indicating different types of routes, e.g. Trans-Canada Highway. Meaning, identifies the route and helps drivers stay on the right path. Exit sign. Green rectangular sign with white letters indicating highway exit numbers. Meaning, provides information about upcoming exits and their numbers. Directional arrow sign. Green sign with white directional arrows pointing towards different routes. Meaning, guides drivers in choosing the correct lane for their intended route. Distance sign. Green rectangular sign with white numbers indicating distances to specific destinations. Meaning, informs drivers about the distance to upcoming towns or cities. It was a sign like this that I referred to earlier. Service signs. Blue rectangular signs with white symbols indicating services such as gas stations, rest areas, and food. Meaning, guides drivers to essential services along the route. Tourist attraction sign. Brown rectangular sign with white symbols indicating tourist attractions. Meaning, highlights nearby points of interest or tourist destinations. Airport sign. Blue rectangular sign with white airplane symbol and text. Meaning, indicates the direction to the nearest airport. Hospital sign. Blue rectangular sign with white hospital symbol and text. Meaning, guides drivers to the nearest hospital. Rest area sign. If you like driving cross-country like I do, you will be thankful for this sign. Blue rectangular sign with white symbols indicating a rest area. Meaning, informs drivers about upcoming rest areas for breaks and facilities. Campground sign. Brown rectangular sign with white symbols indicating a campground. Meaning, guides drivers to nearby campgrounds. Parking facility sign. Blue rectangular sign with white lettering and symbols indicating parking facilities. Meaning, provides information about nearby parking options. These guide road signs are essential for helping drivers navigate unfamiliar areas, plan their journeys, and locate necessary services. Always pay attention to these signs for a smooth and safe travel experience. Note that variations may exist based on local regulations and specific road conditions in different provinces or territories in Canada. Next up, construction and maintenance road signs. Construction and maintenance road signs in Canada play a crucial role in informing drivers about work zones, potential hazards, and necessary adjustments to their driving behavior. Here's a list of common construction and maintenance road signs you may encounter on Canadian roads. Road work ahead. Sign. Orange diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating road work, meaning warns drivers of upcoming construction or maintenance work on the road. Construction zone sign. Orange diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating construction meaning indicates the beginning of a designated construction zone requiring caution and reduced speed. End of construction zone sign. Orange rectangle shaped sign with black symbols indicating the end of a construction zone, meaning informs drivers that they are leaving the construction zone and normal speed limits may resume. Detour sign. Orange diamond shaped sign with black symbols indicating a detour, meaning provides information about an alternative route due to road closures or construction. Flagger ahead sign. Orange rectangular sign with black symbols indicating the presence of a flagger. Meaning, warns drivers that a flagger is ahead, directing traffic in a construction zone. Lane closed ahead sign. Orange diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating that a lane is closed. Meaning, alerts drivers to an upcoming lane closure and prompts them to merge. Road closed sign. Red circle with a white horizontal bar and the words, Road closed. Meaning, indicates that the road is closed and drivers should find an alternative route. Men at work sign. Orange diamond-shaped sign with black symbols indicating men working, meaning warns drivers to be cautious and expect workers on or near the road. Always pay close attention to construction and maintenance signs, follow posted speed limits, and exercise caution in work zones to ensure your safety and the safety of road workers. Note that variations may exist based on local regulations and specific road conditions in different provinces or territories in Canada.
Finally, let's talk about specialized road signs. There are some specialized or less common signs that may not have been explicitly mentioned. These signs may include variable speed limit signs, digital signs displaying variable speed limits based on current traffic and weather conditions, signs indicating the approach to toll booths or toll collection points on certain roads, electric vehicle charging station signs, signs indicating the presence of electric vehicle charging stations, truck route signs, signs designating routes specifically for trucks or commercial vehicles, snowmobile crossing signs, it's essential to note that specific regions or provinces in Canada may have unique signs or variations based on local regulations, climate, and road conditions. Additionally, advancements in technology may introduce new types of signs or modifications to existing ones to enhance road safety and communication. Always stay informed about local traffic laws and be attentive to the variety of road signs you may encounter during your travels. And there you have it, road signs in Canada. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for notifications. This really helps me and also let you know whenever we upload a new video.